Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the Nano Mesh in the ZBrush. Nano Mesh is a very quick way to populate uh, models onto the model. It's part of the Z Modeler tool. As you could see, I'm just clicking and dragging and populating the simple primitive onto the model, which can uh, allow me to create instances onto the model and create complex models. So without any late, let's get started into the video. Hello, uh, Nano Mesh can be seen in the Z Modeler tool. So I just pick the Z Modeler brush here by pressing b z and m and then you are into the z modeler and you should able to see there is a primitive here which can be actually placed into uh, the model so first i need to hit space bar and then search for the nano mesh there so i've got that nano mesh and then you got the target this is where the whole placement becomes so powerful so let me just choose the single poly just click and drag and you should able to see that particular model has been placed here okay and also i can choose different types of target actions like poly loop and then i can create those models there let's say instead of the cube you want to place a star model here you need to create a new nano mesh uh, for that so what i'm going to do is i'll switch to the star which is a poly mesh available and i'm going to uh, right now i'm in the z modeler i'm going to uh, switch to the brush menu and then go to the create and then just say create insert mesh that's the first step and then I want to append into the existing brush and uh, uh, when you press M you could able to cycle between the list of uh, the brushes what you have in the insert mesh category so let's say I press M and you get this list that's what the M does so we have uh, two different types of uh, uh, insert meshes in the Z modeler so if I select the, uh, the star and make sure that you have the poly loop uh, uh, target action selected just click and drag and you get the star there you select this one you get this model here placed okay so you can go to the nano mesh section and you got the index points where you can select any particular index like this one is the first one and then this is the second and that's the third one so you can select any of this index and then start controlling those index points here like for example i can just uh, increase the tiles of this stars in that particular placement uh, and it's only controlling that area however you can just choose the second one and then pick a different uh, placements for that and also maybe you can randomize those points uh, and it's always uh, controlled separately using this index slides there so let's understand uh, the orientation of this model while creating the insert mesh brush so right now i'm in the z modeler and i've got the gear model uh, in the viewport and uh, the orientation of this model is really important so right now it's uh, facing parallel to the camera view so once that is done i'm going to choose the brush and then go to the create and then hit create insert mesh and then just append it and once that is done i got a brush here so what if if i rotate this model okay uh, it's rotated perpendicular to the uh, viewing plane now i go to the brush and then go to the create insert mesh and then append it to the same brush here okay so i've got these two brushes here so let me go back to my poly uh, sphere and then uh, i would like to select one of this uh, uh, gear and then go to the uh, insert nano mesh in the um, Z modeler and also just choose poly loop here so when I click and drag you should be able to see the gear is placed uh, snapping to the surface here and let me choose this one and then just click and drag it here and you should be able to see it's uh, perpendicular to the plane okay the plane serves as a viewing angle for us okay so here uh, the gear is uh, precisely placed on the uh, plane you can also go with the create uh, sorry depth option and then just reduce that depth value to zero and then when you click and drag it you should be able to see the gear is half penetrated into the plane so depth in embed helps that way and the orientation is something which is really important while you're creating this inside mesh right now i've got uh, the model made with uh, poly groups here so i'll select uh, the square or the, the cube and then uh, uh, select the nano mesh and then choose uh, poly group island and then just click and drag and you should be able to see the cube is placed on uh, the poly group we have selected it's not created on the other side so it's very easy to place uh, objects on selected set of faces just by poly groups not only that you can select it uh, through the poly loop option and then start placing it only in the loops there okay so once you have created this uh, sort of uh, uh, placements okay uh, you could actually control them in the nano mesh section so if i just go to the nano mesh section here you have three index points here so the first sorry four the first one is the zero uh, which is actually the cubes part the second part was like this one and uh, so that was the first index and the second part is this row and the third one is the, the last one here however you can just uh, click here and then select any one of this 
uh, index points you want to edit them so what happens if i generally select any one of this index you can uh, control these options what we have below here so we have one nice option called edit mesh so when i click that edit mesh button so what do you see is uh, one side is uh, the total model with the placements and nanos and the other side you got uh, this uh, uh, z cube i mean uh, the the nano object actually uh, so i could um, use any uh, of the modeling tools here and uh, i can edit those points and uh, you should able to see those uh, points get uh, transformed here uh, on the copy there you should able to see that okay so you can edit your uh, primitives which you have uh, placed uh, on to the model using dino uh, nano mesh thing so you have a split screen option here where you could uh, use different types of uh, arrangements for the split screen setting so you can uh, try with uh, different uh, arrangements here okay so zero will have only one split screen so let me switch off the edit mesh and get back to a uh, place where you are you have instances uh, which can be switched off and you have placement uh, which you can switch off there so placement is not hiding where the nano mesh was not placed you should be able to see that thing okay and uh, you could uh, use any uh, modeling tool and then when you edit the model here uh, you should see all the placements are getting affected along with that uh, placement modification if you enable the freeze placement here uh, the uh, the index one or index zero sorry is freezed and you could able to edit the shape when you switch it off it refreshes that like that okay so you can uh, edit your model even once you are in the um, nano mesh uh, concept okay uh, you have a, a size option where you could increase or decrease the size of the brush here or the nanos um, or you can call them as placements okay so you can control the size now here this uh, model is proportionally scaled when you uh, hit this uh, fit button it fits uh, into the model considering the uh, edge length of each and every face of the place uh, the base geometry uh, fill tries to maintain the proportion where fits uh, will scale it in non-proportional way okay so let me just go to the uh, index one and try something here so i'm going to scale the gear here which is uh, going way big now when i say clip it should generally clip that model so it trims off uh, which is going out of the uh, the polygon face what we have okay uh, we have a lot of options here like for example um, you got the width control you can control those width you got a uh, length you can control the length you can control the height okay you can offset them in the x-axis you can offset them in the y-axis you can offset them in the z-axis in and out so i've just reset all of them let's say if i am offsetting this with a value of two and then give a variation all the objects uh, will have a different amount of offset value uh, in the a variation side let's say if i've increased the length to two or maybe uh, height to five now when i say height variation all objects will come into a different uh, size so that's really important uh, when you, it comes to randomizing the objects there. okay uh, we have a uh, rotation also we can rotate them uh, as you wanted them like if you want to place the feathers on the model uh, and you want that nice uh, control over the way the feathers are going to be oriented and also you can give the uh, variation if you have uh, 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 altered the actual value let's say if it is zero and then you're playing with this variation doesn't show anything there but when i put a let's say a 50 degrees and then try variation you get the variation there so it's linked with each other okay uh, so that's uh, how you could actually place the objects now we have mod uh, modulate by color you should be able to see the object uh, is you know moving there let me just uh, switch off the offset value and then modulate it doesn't work modulate uh, is an extra layer for the offset values for example if i put a z offset of uh, three all the objects go out in the normal direction okay like that it goes out in the normal direction so let me put that value to two and then uh, when i try to modulate this it, it it keeps going in and out but something really important we should check here so i switch off the poly frame okay and then i ch i pick the standard brush and then uh, go to the rgb which uh, allows you to uh, paint some color okay and also i'll go to the color and then right now it's white color and then fill the object with that and now when i take the red color and then start painting okay um let me just uh, <coughs> try the modulate color option first and then i bring uh, the color palette down and then try to change the color okay it's, it's not showing any effect let me just uh, check one in poly paint option so it's colorized 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just try to uh, do it uh, once the poly painting is done. So I'll select the index zero and uh, I'll go down to inventory and then delete one that deletes that particular, uh, you know, uh, object. So I just go to the Z modeler and then select this one and then insert nano mesh for the polygroup eye line. I just click and drag it and then I will use the um, index, okay, which is number three right now and then offset it and then modulate by color. And you should be able to see uh, the effect is seen um, on the area where I have painted the color. Okay, so let me just paint it. Oh, oh sorry, I need to pick the standard brush. When I paint it, you should be able to see uh, there is some effect where I'm painting dark colors there. Uh, it's all about which color you are picking there. Okay, so let me put a gray. Let me put a white. Let me put a dark. Okay, so. Uh, hue is not a big uh, thing. It's it's about the value of the color. So explore that uh, to control how this offset should affect and that's what uh, this is doing here. So I'll switch off the modulate by color off and then offset to zero. Okay, and then uh, we have a, a H tile and a, a V tile. So I'll put a value of five here and put a value of five. So every face will have that five uh, cubes placed in one particular model. Okay, so we have a lot of different types of uh, arrangements per face. So when I say grid inset, it is creating the, I mean, you know, the inset uh, model, which will scale down the face, like extrude pulls out, insert scales down. So it's trying to maintain the margin. So if you could explore, it's only main keeping in the border, border inset and then corners. So when you want to create a rivets for any container or any uh, classic rail engine and all that, you can checker odd checker odd insert again it's insert and in that it is creating the checker pattern even even insert even border all that stuff and you got horizontal line and vertical line you got plus sign you got diagonals and uh, yeah two diagonals so you have all that stuff going on here uh, so i'll just uh, uh, put uh, this h tile v tile back and then increase the random value it throws the object randomly there and again you can control the size of the object okay random seed uh, gives you a different uh, arrangement of uh, i mean the, it changes the seed value altogether so it's a great way to control your polygons or the nanos onto the model and uh, uh, this section is uh, the heart of uh, the nano mesh okay so i've got this uh, sphere i've just uh, purposefully scaled uh, this uh, face into different sizes and i've taken the arrow here so i'm just uh, selecting the uh, nano mesh with the group island and i'm just creating those uh, arrows here i'm able to rotate it anywhere i wanted here however i can just go to the alignment and say align to the normal so all uh, the arrows are aligned to one particular you know direction as you could see every face will have its own normal direction so it's it's uh, aligning in, in in one single direction let's say if i say align to short edge uh, these faces are aligned to the shortest edge here okay now uh, if i say align to the longest edge they are aligned to the longest edge nearest point order randomly uh, align and no alignment how uh, these are all uh, basically different types of alignments which you can use to you know orient uh, this uh, nanos on the model here so let's try something else so here i just got the sphere i'm just clicking and dragging it like that and then i'll be using uh, a polygon count of 100 and then 100 here so once that is done uh, i'll just hit uh, make poly mesh 3d okay uh, so i'll just go to the texture section and then choose this earth map here once that is done, I go to the color and then say fill object that brings up the texture onto the uh, model. Okay. Now I'm going to use the Z modeler tool. And then in that, I'm going to choose the insert nano mesh for all quads. So obviously I just click and drag and you get this uh, model there. Okay. Uh, you can also populate this with uh, a randomness if you wanted. So I can go to the nano mesh and then you have uh, the random option. You can populate that randomly like that. Or I can just, uh, you know, tile this to three times and three times okay and also give that uh, variation uh, in the model okay so that looks very much uh, uh, you know you know dense cubes placed on the model so what i'm going to do is i'll just scroll down as the base mesh has got the color i'll go to the colorize section and then we have uh, this uh, mesh color so what it does is it uh, inherits that color from the uh, mesh which we had uh, created the nano mesh on uh, so if we have a material uh, on a base mesh you want to inherit that material you can click this button so it takes that material 
let's say you want to take material as well as the color you can you can hit this one and then it takes that both material and color to the object okay and uh, let's say um, you have this ui color and you have ui material so let me take a gold color here and then we have some white color so um let's say if i want to take ui material i can take the ui material which is here this material is not assigned to my base mesh so now in the color section if i take the red color or maybe if i have uh, the matte cap pearl so i can take a ui material which is matte cap pearl ui color which is a red color or both at the same time you can assign the matte cap pearl material and red color by by this button okay so if you are using uh, the color which has been applied to the mesh and then you want to play with the saturation amount or you want to try with the intensity amount or you want to adjust some variations and then you want to play with the hues and all you can generally do it and then it gives you that uh, pretty you know interesting uh, nano mesh model so if you could see it's made with polycubes and still you have this uh, texture carrying from the uh, placement model okay so here i've uh, placed a uh, different types of inset meshes in the nano mesh so i'll be showing you how to do this uh, thing so firstly i need to switch to my uh, z modeler okay bzm and then i'm going to select the inset mesh with the poly loop and then just click and drag it look like that okay and once that is uh, placed here i'll go to the edit mesh here and then choose bip which is body parts so i'm selecting uh, the move tool and then select the dog face here and then uh, you should able to see this dog face here and then it's placed there okay and then i switch off this uh, edit mesh option and then increase the size and also just uh, change the values of uh, this model okay uh, you could see the dog head placed onto this okay so i can insert as many as uh, you know uh, imm body parts or any other imm brushes onto my model as nano mesh here so right now if you could see uh, in the inventory section uh, i'll just go to the z modeler uh, and then i'll just click on this all to brush okay so what happens is um, the selected uh, index which has been you know uh, i created using insert mesh and in the selected in index the nano mesh the nano the dog head which we have created is now part of the brush here okay and also you could able to see the hand and the uh, nut bolt or whatever we have got here is can be seen in the brushes section here uh, so we have a uh, one to mesh which actually makes the selected index into a mesh object okay that became it's converted into polygons now uh, so you need to just uh, go to that particular index and then just say one to mesh and it converts into a mesh okay and uh, if you want to delete any one of the index value just click delete one and it just gets deleted uh, with that particular option so if you could see we have uh, three different uh, indexes so if i just select uh, any one of them and if you if you could see the hands i've selected the index one and here in this uh, 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 brushes i've selected the dog face and then if you just click replace nano mesh with a brush all that are replaced by the dog head here okay so you can delete all of these uh, uh, index uh, levels here in one single click or you can select one that one index and delete that particular index here let's say i'm in the index number one i'll just uh, scale down this a little bit so that i could see the face here i'll select this uh, particular nut model here the brush type okay and uh, i just select that and then uh, click and drag and you should be able to see uh, the dog model has gone and it has brought with this uh, nut model here however you can just click and uh, hold shift which keeps uh, the existing brush and also it will create the new uh, brush on top of it okay guys i hope you like the video if you have any questions related to nano mesh or zbrush feel free to ask in the comment section i request you to like the video and also please subscribe my channel thank you okay